six things you should know before you create your first online course. I don't know if you've ever been thinking about doing an online course, and if you haven't, you should be thinking about it. But the six things you should really know. See, what happened when I did my first online course, I, one, I started following some people and they were telling you that you should do info products and it's like, the, I can do this because I'm a teacher. I can teach, I can do, I can create a course and sell it. And I was so excited and I launched it and I thought I did such a great job. Well, guess what? I didn't sell one stinking thing. And it just devastated me. But I had to go learn. I had to learn what was going on. So I wanna to talk to you about the six things that you should know when you create your first online course. See, when you create your first online course, you can sell it to your audience or you can sell it on the marketplace, like to Udemy or maybe in Teachable or whatnot. Or, um, But what I try to do is sell to my audience. Well, here's what happened. I didn't have an audience. I mean, I was on social media, I had people following me and I had a little email list and guess what, you need an email list. But I didn't have the right type of people following me. I had family and friends. I didn't have people that were looking to learn different things. So my audience really stunk. What I did learn to do was before I started creating more courses was I needed to build up an audience. And there's different ways you can build up an audience. See, it's, it's hard to market without an audience. You just can't do it to tell you the truth. So if you don't have an audience, I would take the time Right? I really would, I would take the time to learn how to attract an audience to you. And there's two different ways you can do that, right? You can do it through paid, building up an audience on with Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, or you can try to do it by creating a page or a group on Facebook and then nurturing them and teaching them what you're doing. So. The first thing is sell to your audience or to a marketplace. Two, it's really hard to sell without an audience. So you need to learn how to build it. That's my suggestion, build your audience. The third thing, I don't know if you've ever seen this, course prices are all over the place. And there's a reason for it. Some people have $7 courses. In fact, that was one of my first courses was a $7 course because I wanted to learn how the process of marketing things. Uh, Allie Burke, does tiny tiny courses, tiny URLs, I think she calls it. 27, upsells to 37, and then maybe 97 or 77. Does an unbelievable job. Where Amy Porterfield's course is $2,000. And some are more. I just saw a course the other day that was for 8,000. And you could, if you didn't have the one-time payment, you could pay six different payments of $1,500 a month for six months. Man, to tell you the truth, it was a great deal because the person was going to tell, teach value. So that's where the prices come from, right? It's how you market it, if it's a premium course, to the right audience, what you're doing, what kind of course you're trying to teach to. There might be a period when you first start that you need an entry-level course. If you follow Russell Brunson, do you know what he, how he builds an audience? He sells books. He gives away his books free, you just gotta pay the shipping. And then he teaches inside those books. Well, once he gets you inside his business, then he starts marketing other things to you. Unstinking believable. Okay, the fourth step. There's actually two different ways of hosting. And I didn't understand this at first. See, you can be, uh, I, I use ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels has a membership site. Or you can do it on WordPress, you can self-host. Now, I always wanted it away from my website, so I use ClickFunnels. Now I use Members Pro. People use Teachable, they use Kajabi. Uh, but I wanted the process away from me, and then I wanted to find a platform, software, that would, at the same time, help me out following up with people. They have a system to follow up with emails and whatnot, and that's what. So I use a hosting company, and it's called Members Pro. And if you'd like to read that, it's an unstinkably company. And fairly priced. Yes, they do cost some money, but that's what happens. Okay, the fifth one, paid advertising. 
But I, here's what I want you to know. Things are changing in paid advertising. Paid advertising works, right? You know, you're trying to build up a, a audience. Well, one, paid advertising does work. You might do Google ads, get them over to Facebook, get trying to build up an audience. But if you don't have your audience, it's gonna take time and money. And then you have to learn the advertising game. Don't be afraid of it. Just know that you're not gonna put $5 a day and make $50,000 in your course. And you know what? I forgot to tell you that. Have you ever watched people? Some people launch. I watched this person. I bought the course. She made over a million dollars in her launch. Now she had affiliates helping her market it, but a million dollars, you can make serious income on this. Now here's the last one. And, and I really wanna talk to your heart. See, if you're thinking about doing a course and you're going, I don't know, I don't know if I can do it. Well, you know what? It's not a pipe dream. It really isn't. Courses work. There's some work involved to learn what's going on, but courses work and you can do it. So what I would do, I would start the game because it's one source of income, but what it does, it opens up the world to you. Now, if you've never learned about how to build a course, I have two things. I, I got a freebie that's the ultimate guide to course creation. It's at Mark Nelson Online Course Creation, excuse me, marknelsononline.com forward slash course creation. And then guess what? I have a course that I sell. It teaches you how to build a course. And I, what I do is I have a free presentation so if you go to marknelsononline.com forward slash yes, Y-E-S, I know I get creative once in a while, you can go watch that presentation and see how you can learn how to build a course and how maybe if you want to join with me, I can help you out through that decision. So y'all take care. Hey, if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel, share it, like it, make a comment. Tell me if you're going to mil if you're going to create a course. If you're listening to this on my podcast, follow my podcast, make a comment on it. You know the drill. Hey, you all take care. Grab my links down below and either get the 10, the ultimate guide to course creation or go watch a presentation. You all take care. Bye.